Coaches are often known for speaking in broad terms, making it challenging to discern their precise strategies. The Bears, under Eberflus, have now played enough games to understand their game plan and potential strengths, which also applies to the Green Bay Packers, even with a different starting quarterback this Sunday. Here are the three key factors that could help the Bears break their eight-game losing streak against the Green Bay Packers. First, striking the right passing balance. While Justin Fields now has viable targets, the Bears won't solely rely on an aggressive aerial attack. Instead, they need a well-balanced passing game that incorporates some early deep or intermediate throws to create opportunities for short passes and screens. Of particular importance are the execution of short passes and screen plays. Fields has faced challenges in this aspect, whether throwing to wide receivers, tight ends, or running backs. The short and screen game can be effective if the defense is concerned about deeper passes. By establishing a threat downfield, the Bears can open up their playbook for shorter routes, ultimately leading to improved passing efficiency, a crucial requirement for their third-year quarterback. Second, embrace unpredictability. The Bears employ a defensive scheme often described as generic. While the Tampa 2 style can be successful, it tends to be straightforward and less of a mind game for quarterbacks, especially those with limited experience like Jordan Love. Given Love's inexperience, the Bears cannot afford to rely solely on their typical Tampa 2 shell defense, which could boost Love's confidence. Instead, they should aim to keep him off balance and maintain their advantage throughout the game. One approach involves adding variety to the Tampa 2 style by altering coverages and looks. They can deceive the quarterback into believing he's facing a cover two scheme while playing another zone or different defensive formation. Linebackers or defensive backs can adjust their drop zones to disrupt pass routes. Occasional blitzing from the slot or A-gap, as well as defensive line stunts, can further introduce unpredictability and prevent love from settling into a rhythm. Lastly, protect the football. As Eberfluss emphasizes, this is as fundamental as it gets. It aligns with his hits principle, take away the ball and prevent the opponent from doing the same. Whether it's Fields, who struggled with fumbles and interceptions last year, or any other player, the Bears must avoid turnovers. Additionally, they can significantly benefit from creating turnovers on defense, particularly against a young quarterback like Green Bay's. Who will emerge victorious today? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments.